What's going on guys, DJF here, and we are doing a review for Core Guru. So smash that like button, because we are going to get involved. Trabtendo! So, Core Guru is what it says. It's like a musical theory plugin. It doesn't make sounds or anything like that. If you uh, draw your attention to this area right here, you'll see me playing on my keyboard as well as you hear me thumping across the keys and nothing comes out so what does it naturally do so if i was to select this area right here and drag it and drop it into funky fingers which is right here and i'll just pull up funky fingers for you uh, you'll see that uh what it does is it draws out random midi notes uh, depending on specific parameters being pressed So how does this thing work here? So you can select a key, you know, and you might want to do stuff in the key C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. And, you know, you'll be able to select whatever. <clears throat> so we're just going to go ahead and choose the root key, which is D. Then um, with this specific thing, if you tap on this particular area right here, which is eight chords, so you have eight chords and use the hit on D major to start off. And then, you know, if you want to change something else and maybe you want a G major right here, you can change that. And then you can do like this and select a specific instrument you want to hear it as. And then go from there <clears throat> uh, you also have some different things that you can select like you can change it from a flat or a sharp flat and then you can have it either in major or minor and then you can go and select jazz chords as well and then also you have this cool doohickey which does random so you see it now you have F diminish, F sharp diminish, and then E flat seventh, and F seven major. I know somebody's going to blast me in the comment section, but it's all good. Uh, you know, you can just preview it. There you go. From there, you just go and drag and drop, uh, repeat the process of dragging and dropping that into your piano roll. And then hear it again. And of course, you can adjust the volume of how you hear whatever comes out. But, you know, that's just a different way that you can, you know, mess with Core Guru in a nutshell. So basically, uh, it works kind of like a, a lot of the scale presets or scale VSTs that are out or musical theory type things that are out that will help you out in the long run with your creative process to stop you from having beat block. Um, so uh, what are things I don't? Uh, rock with it. Uh, I mean, it's kind of varies. I mean, this is a thing I have a, a, a wee bit of an issue with, but it's not a big deal. Uh, as you can see, you if I was to count one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, is laid out in bars. I wish you can uh, go, you know, maybe every second beat or whatnot, but you can easily renovate that by, you know, if press say you're in fl you just press control a which will select everything and then you you know just shrink everything down and then you know just click on a, a well press control and then left click on something and then you can just move your chords over one by one it, it seems a bit tedious or whatnot but you know if you was to work in something outside of double time you probably would want you know to be able to select that every every two beats uh, a measure or whatnot you know, you get a chord, you know, to just me. I don't know about you, but you know, me, I would, I would love for that and perhaps an update, but overall it's pretty good. You know, you, you know, this 
Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm a fat, lazy producer. That would probably. <laughs> and I think I messed up somewhere, but I'm a fat, lazy producer. So, you know, I, I just kind of get too lazy and stuck in my ways. But yeah, you know, being able to do that would be cool. But other than that, no, it's pretty good. Uh, it will be out momentarily, and the link will be in the description box to check it out. So, you know, just just take heed to this, because it's pretty good for your ideas. And that's what it is. It's made specifically for songwriters who might have beat block or whatnot. And then, you know, you can just make your beats and stuff like that. And I really do like the fact that they have imp implemented, like, you know, per se, you have jazzy chords or whatnot. And you just hit the random button. And then you can just go ahead and drag and drop whatever you want in there. So that is uh, on deck for you to try. In here. And let's let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and change and uh, change the patch and funky fingers here. See, uh, that would be you know pretty cool for like you know doing some hip hop stuff or or whatnot. So you can you know jam along, and you know may, perhaps you might want to make a jazzy trap beat. You know, and again, keep in mind that if you have the augmented on, it will give you augmented chords or whatnot. You'll see it right there change. But that's basically about it, though. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any comments, please leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. And no, I'm going to answer it because I know somebody's going to ask. No, you can't adjust the BPM so you could uh, uh, further augment the, the chords and, you know, make them faster, of course. You know, make it double time so to do that. I wish it would do that. That would actually be ideal, too. That would be pretty cool. Um, but anyways, I'm DJF. Thank you for your time. You know what time it is. I'm going to hit y'all with that stamp. Thank you again. Crab Tendo.